All right, let me show you this 421. It's a beautiful one. We have a, a G600 suite here with a carbon 530 and 430 both was. We have a, a MFD, an Avidine Flightmax EX500 with a, a radar display here. We can use the radar through this uh, MFD to control it. STEC 55X autopilot, and it's uh, every every function, everything. It's uh, synchronized with the Garmin uh, screen, the G600 screen right here. Uh, it has altitude altitude capture, and you can select the vertical speed here, and it will capture the uh, altitude selected on the Garmin suite. Dual transponders for now. The only one ADSV. It's the top one. It's a 330. ES with ADS-B out. This one is a 327 with uh, Mount Charlie. Uh, currently climbing at uh, the recommended uh, power settings, which is uh, 32 and a half, the top of the green arc, and about 1900 RPMs, doing about 30 gallons on the left and 28 on the right. It's a total of 40, I'm sorry, 58 gallons. This is a climb configuration. That's a turbo temperature. It's uh, indicating about 14, 60, 14, uh, 40 on the right. Pretty much uh, 14, 50. It's uh, the recommended temperature to, uh, uh, to, to be at with the turbos. So uh, the airplane flight's really, really good. We do have uh, here, let me show you, down here, the pressurization controls. Right now, select like that 2000. It's maintaining the uh, cabin altitude right there, about 2200, pretty much um, accurate. Uh, PSI, it's, uh, uh, it's rising right now. Suction here, both, um, suction, uh, both vacuum pumps are working. The green arc uh, that's a uh, oxygen cylinder we do have here the controls the max controls uh, it has uh, the modification for the uh, fuel pumps so we have this uh, switches for low off and high uh, switches here for everything so you can control here uh, breakers we have more uh, breakers on the right side and uh, this aircraft has uh, the Robertson stall kit, so that's why you will have just uh, 10 and 30 degrees of flaps. You have uh, spoilers or uh, speed brakes, and uh, you can watch them on the wing. So there is a spoiler. I'm sorry, it's uh, having a little rough right here, causing a cloud. And also the Robertson stall consists on uh, lowering the flap, which is the first part of the wing and then the outer part the aileron it's also lowering so the flaps and the ailerons lower we do have th three instruments on the left side for standby and it's at uh, the horizon and altimeter and there's indicator however we do have a six pack on the right side as well everything is working fuel indicators right there we have analog instruments for the oil pressure so their temperatures and the oil temperature as well we do have those on the uh, GPI EDM 760 as well. Uh, right here we have the throttle quadrant with uh, power props and uh, mixtures. Uh, some uh, outer controls you can um, uh, connect here and an outer input uh, for the crew and then one for the passengers if you want to uh, for the passengers to hear something else and you can select here to tie the music to isolate and uh, also to mute or or continue. Also, it, it, it does have an XM uh, radio. We don't have the subscription here because uh, we don't use it that, that much. But you can have uh, the music here and you can select here either XM or the audio input um, for the music. One of your controls there, the most gorgeous uh, feature of this aircraft is the air conditioning. It's wor it works great and awesome. It has two speed, the high and the low lower speed and uh, you activate here uh, the compressor and cool it's and um, uh, actually the compressor the evaporator is uh, down there here and it gets the um, it gets uh, the the cool fluid from 
the left engine and it gets inside there and uh, you get the uh, air conditioning through here so there's one bed here one bed there and a couple of beds on, on, on the roof on the back the back is uh, pretty nice we do have uh, four seats in club seating there's one more back there and one behind uh, that uh, that that panel which is uh, the, uh, the the lavatory the toilet and if you can see there uh, that little uh, strap holds the door so you can close uh, the door actually and uh, have privacy on the lab and you can do your thing there um, well uh, we do have another annunciator here for the autopilot you can see here that we have altitude and standby with vertical speed and navigation the GPSS the um, annunciator panel here on the left Everything is lighting up as well. Here, everything lights up, okay. So, uh, the, the airplane is uh, pretty nice. I really like it. It flies awesome. It has total time of 1616.4. <laughs> so, that's pretty low time for 21. So, um, this is it. I hope you like it.